For generations, owning your own home was part of the American dream. Yeah, so now with rising interest rates, also higher rents, people of all financial backgrounds are asking, which is better, renting or owning? KCAL correspondent Carter Evans takes a look at those going against convention. 32-year-old Matthew Richmond makes a good living running his successful pest control company in Silicon Valley. I'm living the American dream. And he can afford to pursue his passion for fun. When you want to buy a motorcycle, dirt bike, you could pull it off. I can go write the check and buy it. What he hasn't bought is a home, even though he could afford one. Somehow we've been led to believe that you have to own a home in order to be living the American dream. And that's just not true. For a lot of people, renting can actually be a better financial decision. I recognized you. I love talking about money. Ramit Sethi is host of the Netflix show, How to Get Rich. And he says that doesn't necessarily require owning a home. We have this idea that if I could rent a place for 2,000 a month, and if I could buy a place for 2,000 a month, I should buy, because I can build equity. But Sethi says you have to consider the total cost of a home, including all that interest. There's property insurance. There's property tax. I call them phantom costs because they're mostly invisible to us until they appear. I actually add 50% per month to the price of owning. That includes maintenance, including a $20,000 roof repair 11 years from now that I don't even know I have to save for yet. A recent analysis shows the number of high income renters making 150,000 or more has jumped 82%, and the number of millionaire renter households has tripled. Sethi told us he's still a renter. You could buy a home now. I could. And so I love to talk about why I don't. I have run the numbers carefully living in cities like San Francisco, New York, and LA, and it makes no financial sense for me to buy there. A study shows these are the top 10 cities where it may be better to rent than buy, considering current home prices. If Matthew Richmond bought a home in Silicon Valley, his housing expenses would double and put the brakes on his fun. You seem to be pretty happy renting. Yeah, totally happy. It, doesn't, it does not bug me at all. A rich life really is about saying yes to the things you want to spend money on. And it could be a house, but for many people it's not. Carter Evans, KCAL News. I mean, let's be real, home ownership is very expensive. Yes, it I'll, is. I'll say my sister, she has to replace her AC, $16,000. Oh my gosh. I know. That's insane. I do think sometimes, though, I have commitment issues. So I kind of like that if you're renting, right. you can move around, you get a neighbor that you don't really vibe oh, with, no. you can you can go somewhere else, you have those options um, versus but, being kind of stuck. Yeah, that's true, but also saving money and we, we don't think true. about the long-term effects, yeah. but that's an interesting story, Carter Evans reporting.